Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in this Cypress automation playlist. Now that we have written a couple of our tests and we have also optimized it further by using the data test attributes, we also looked at how we can test a list of different elements by using uh, the EQ method uh, with the index. Okay, so now let's optimize these tests even further. Okay. So here, if you look at this particular line, which is the cy.visit where we are actually going to a particular URL, okay? Now this uh, step we are repeating in all of the tests, right? In both the tests. Now this uh, is fine if you have got just a small number of tests. So you can write each step uh, multiple times or you repeat them. But uh, it's not the ideal way of writing your tests because think if you have got uh, hundreds of tests, then it is not ideal to just uh, keep on repeating this line in every test, right? So instead of that, uh, Cypress provides you with a before each hook, okay? Uh, now this before each hook, uh, whatever you write inside this hook will be executed before each test is executed, okay? So it is like a prerequisite step before you run your test, okay? So all the prerequisite steps like going to the website or maybe logging into the website, uh, things like that can be written in this before each hook, okay? So let's see how we can use this in our tests, okay? So this, uh, we are going to include this um, inside the described block. So here, uh, we are going to write the before each hook, okay? And it looks like this, right? And this contains a callback function, okay? So we are going to write the callback function here. And then inside this before each method, we are going to write this particular line, okay? Which is going to go to this particular URL, okay? The cy.visit. And now we can optimize our test further, okay? By removing this line from all the remaining tests because this uh, particular step will be executed first and then only uh, the test will be executed, okay? So it will be the same for whatever tests you write inside this particular describe block. Uh, before uh, executing any test, it is going to execute this particular line and that is what we require. This not only uh, reduces uh, the number of lines which are present inside your test, but uh, it makes it more reusable, right? So we are reusing a line of code uh, by using the before each hook. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and save this and let's go to our Cypress and let's see if everything is still working as expected. So as you can see, uh, our, both our tests are still passing. And now you will see there is uh, another before each hook which has been introduced here, uh, which has got this visit line, right? And then the test body, same for the next test, there is the before each hook, and then uh, there is the test body. So this is how it looks like in your test results, okay? And we are using the before each hook to basically optimize our test further. Now, since we are optimizing our tests, let me tell you another way of doing this. So right now you can see whenever I save my file, both the tests get executed. Now, if I have got uh, maybe 10 tests, but I just want to run one particular test. So how can you do that? Okay, so for example, I just want to run the verify the course features. I don't want to run uh, heading contains the correct text whenever I save the file, okay? So for that, what you can do is uh, you can use the only method. So here in it, uh, you can say dot, and then you can use only, okay? So now what will happen is whenever I save the file, Cypress will only execute this test. It will not execute this particular test, okay? It could come in handy at some times uh, whenever you just want to debug or you just want to test one particular scenario and not all the scenarios um, each time you save the file, okay? 
So let's go ahead and save this now. And let's go back here. And now you will see that uh, in the Cypress homepage, there is just one test which has been executed, which is the verify the course features, not the other test. Okay. So this is one way of uh, just executing one particular scenario and not the other scenarios. So both of these uh, methods could come in handy at different points of time. But you should always use the before each hook if you are writing a number of different tests and there are some common steps which could be grouped uh, into this before each hook and they should be executed before you start running your actual test. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.